Today, I'm gonna be building Taco Bell in Blocksburg and then inviting all of my subscribers to come to the opening. But before we start, we recently hit 500,000 subscribers on our YouTube channel. 500,000, that's literally half a million. That is crazy. I can't even picture of like five of you in a room. So I thought in celebration of this, I'm gonna be hosting a 5,000 Robux giveaway. I'll be giving five of you a thousand Robux each. And all you have to do to enter is be subscribed to my channel and join my Robux group. And I will be checking, so make sure you've joined both. And if you want an extra chance to win, you can follow me on Instagram and the winner will be announced a week from this video. So again, thank you guys so much. Words literally cannot explain how much I love my little Alaskans. So with that being said, let's finally get started. Firstly, we need our Taco Bell outfit. So, bada beam. Oh, okay, wrong outfit. Bada beam, bada boom. We have my outfit ready. I just typed up Taco Bell in the Roblox category and this is what came up. I don't know. Okay, so as you can see, I've got like a little layout of what I want to do. And I also got some decals ready. Now, the reason I already have the layout ready is because I've actually never been to Taco Bell in my life. We actually do not have Taco Bell where I live. So when everyone was like, Alaska, build Taco Bell, I'm like... What is Taco Bell? So apparently it's like a Mexican restaurant. So I feel like we're gonna make this two story. I feel like this needs to be a very, very fancy Taco Bell. Everyone was telling me to build bathrooms, like lots of bathrooms. I don't know why, but um, I'm going to anyway. Literally someone was like, Alaska, please, can you add like 50 bathrooms? We're gonna need it. What does that mean? What, what do you mean we're gonna need it? Like, why am I scared that everyone's gonna get like explosive diarrhea now? The video just cuts to everyone having explosive diarrhea. <laughs> Not in my Taco Bell. There will be no diarrhea, okay? When I was researching what the building looks like, there was this photo which is like a very like a very bright and bubbly Taco Bell And then there was this Taco Bell that was more of like a modern aspect So I think we're gonna do a mixture of both Also, we have to keep in mind Taco Bell's signature color is like purple white and black So I'm gonna make sure to add those colors like throughout the building I've also had a few of you guys to help me with the opening because you know, I can't do it by myself I need my Alaskans to help me. Okay now I want the Taco Bell sign like right here So I'm actually gonna copy this one and put it right here. Boom. Yeah, this is looking good Good. Actually, for some reason, I really want to have a balcony up here. You know what? Why not? We're going to go fancy today. And we also need to put a little bit of purple somewhere. So this is like the perfect touch of purple. Also, I don't know why, but so many of you guys were like begging me to do a face reveal. I don't know why. <laughs> Someone was literally like, if you don't show your face, I'm going to unsubscribe from your channel. I'm like, damn, okay. So I don't know what y'all expect me to look like. Bella Hadid, Elon Musk. Spoiler alert, I'm actually Elon Musk. Sorry to break it to you. I'm also going to outline the building with some LED strips just to give it that modern flair. And but also gonna have some railings at the bottom here to add more touches of purple and we'll do this on the rest of the building as well. I feel like this is gonna be like my biggest fast food restaurant yet. Okay we also need some commercial windows up here. You know what I actually might make this whole top story out of windows because we are going for like that modern look and boom look at that. Can we just they fit perfectly. That is beautiful. I love when it does that. She is beauty. She is grace. She is Miss United States. Oh wait y'all I just realized we need a door here. <laughs> there we go little door. Okay and finally some lights up here to make it nice and bright. Instead of a big commercial sliding door, I'm just gonna put like a double door right here because I want to have a little outdoor seating moment. Okay, I don't want it too big because usually most of the time none of you guys even use my outdoor seating. So I don't want to focus too much on out here. I might just put like two chairs and tables. Actually guys, I take that back. Taco Bell is actually being built in Australia. So how fun. I actually can't eat it because I'm allergic, but yay. We just need some napkins on the table in case anyone makes a mess, which let's be honest, you guys always do. Let's hope this Taco Bell opening is kind of nice and calm. Every single time I have an opening, it always ends in absolute chaos. I have high hopes for this Taco Bell. I don't think it's going to end like that. Bombastic side eye. Like, what's the worst that can happen? Okay, now we need the drive through because Taco Bell actually does have a drive through Okay, not only are we having a drive through but we're also going to have a parking lot at the front of the Taco Bell, which actually isn't something I've done before. And this also fits like six cars. So how good is that? Back when I built KFC in Bloxburg, one of you guys crashed your car inside of the building. Like, how does that even happen? Actually, I feel like we need some fences here. You know what? I like never use these wooden fences. So that's what we're going to use. And then we also need a massive sign. <laughs> Look at my character. She looks absolutely insane. I'm kind of scared of her. Right, a big sign here that says Taco Bell, come poop your pants. I'm kidding. No one's going to poop their pants in my Taco Bell, okay? And considering this is where the drive through is going to go, we'll have our little intercom. Oh my gosh, you know what would be so cool? If Bloxburg could add walkie-talkies. Oh my god, that is the cutest little intercom I've ever seen in my life. I guess we also need some road signs so people actually know where to go. Because <laughs> I swear, last time there was someone driving the opposite direction. Like, for example, there was someone driving this way. Or there was another person driving this way. And they literally had a collision. Okay, now obviously the last thing we need is the window right here. Now, a little birdie told me that you guys love to break into my kitchen. So guess what? 
transparent cube is going here. I feel like we need another roof here to give it more structure. And finally, some big chunky pillars. I love when I make things symmetrical. What is this? Okay, now that we have the outside done, we can finally start working on the inside. Okay, so with the inside, this is a little tricky. Because in one of the photos, the Taco Bell looks like this, like nice and saturated and bubbly. And in one of them, they look like this, which is actually kind of boring. So I think we're going to go with like a funky Taco Bell. So firstly, this is where the kitchen and the workers are going to go. And for the walls, I think we just might stick with white with purple crown molding. Taco Bell actually seems so yummy. Like I love tacos. So, and we also have to figure out where the stairs are going to go because this is a two story Taco Bell. I think we might just put them over here. For the floor on the second story, we're going to have a little gap here so we can have a nice chandelier. We're going to use this chandelier because it kind of looks like tacos. I'm sorry. Did I just say that looks like tacos? No, it doesn't. I'm also going to copy this Taco Bell and put it right here. Okay, now for the roof, I kind of want to mix it up and have like vertical planks on the roof. It's not something I've done before, but I feel like it would look good. And you know what? This Taco Bell is going to be nice and cozy. We're going to have a fireplace in here. We're going to make this the most elegant Taco Bell in all of Bloxburg. We also have to paint these pillars. So paint, 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 paint. So this is as soon as you walk in. So I don't want to have any seating options here because if there is a big line, I don't want any seats blocking the way. And I feel like Taco Bell has a little bit of structure. So we might add these plain high arches. Ooh la la, if I say so myself. Okay, and what do we need on the counter? Obviously we need the cash register. We need like all the menu items here. Also, I feel like some purple LED strips right here would look so cool. I'm also going to do the same what I done with my subway. So what I done in the subway was put a few TVs above the counter. So all I done was put a basic shape like this and then a TV on top. And then I just kind of copied the process and added three of them. Okay, so I've got our little entryway. Now it is time to work on the seating options. So in this Taco Bell, they had a lot of these stools. So I reckon what we're going to do is use these console tables and put them up against the wall and like up against here as well. And for the chairs, we're just going to use stylish stools. I don't know about you guys, but I hate eating in fast food restaurants. I don't remember the last time I went to a fast food restaurant and I just like sat down and ate. Like I'll usually just go through drive through It's just so easy. Okay, we're going to give these table a little bit of character. This person can be reading a book because they're a little bit of a weirdo. Oh my gosh, you know one thing I never add is like a trash bin. Like, hello, it's a fast food chain. We need trash bins. I guess we can have like three in the entry area. And I feel like this wall needs to be a feature wall. So what we're going to do is make it purple. Maybe we can have like two log armchairs here. <laughs> this doesn't even look like a Taco Bell. It looks like a resort. Welcome to the resort. All right, there we go. All right, we can have our napkins, our salt and pepper, and finally our sauce. Okay, now back here, this is actually going to be a little balcony, a little kids area, if you will. All right, now for the tables, I'm just going to make this out of basic shapes. I feel like a nice long stool here would look really cute. So we're actually going to keep this really simple. We're just going to put one cube right here. And to make this a little booth, we'll just put a few wicker armchairs and then a little flat cube on top. And there we go. We've got our little booth <laughs> with another Taco Bell sign. And I'm just going to add a few more chairs and tables down here. And then we can start moving on to the kitchen. I literally just put a vertical cylinder and then just make a dish into a circle. And then we come up with something cute like this. Y'all, low key, why is this Taco Bell looking so good? Like the downstairs seating is done. As for this little balcony area, I can a few of these cute little tiny tot chairs. This is where the kids can eat their food, even though it's a little bit dangerous considering the cars like driving right by. And we'll have a few adult seating as well because obviously the kids can't be out here alone. What do you think this is, a McDonald's? Okay, the patio is finished. As for the kitchen, what I'm going to do is split this up like this. So then we have the cashier register and then we have the kitchen. So on this wall, we'll have some storage with some cups. And you know what? We'll also add another little window here in case the cashier needs to like yell out to one of the cooks. Like, yo, we need some tacos, man. We can also have a tray on the counter with like a paper bag. I think I've done something similar to my KFC build actually. And it actually turned out so good. And inside here, we need to have all the menu items, some sticky notes in case they forget. And then back here where the kitchen is, we of course need the fridge, a few ovens. As in a few ovens, I mean literally like four. And we'll also put a wall here to kind of separate the window worker from the kitchen. Okay, we also need a bunch of counters. I need to make sure I remember everything this time because I'm not even kidding. Every single time I build a fast food chain, I always forget something. Okay, so I've got our microwaves. We also need somewhere to place our fryers. There's a little bit of room up the front, so I guess we can place the fries here. We also need a few toasters just in case. Coffee machine, ice cream machine, a blender, some AC in case we burn down the building, and then finally fill up these walls with some utensils. We can also fill this up with some pans. We have to be prepared for anything. Oh my gosh, you know what we're missing, guys? A sink. Hello. You know when you're like, I'm missing something, I just don't know what it is. Yeah, a sink to wash your dirty hands. I also realized there's no way of entry for the workers. They're just gonna have to jump through the counter, but oh well. Now, finally, we just need the window worker. So we can have an office chair here, counter where she can take her beep, beep, boop, boop. And then finally, a computer. Also, I figured out if I put a security camera right here, the window worker will be able to see who's at the intercom. Is that genius or is that genius? Okay, and just like that, our kitchen is finished. So now last 
lastly, we just have the second floor. Now the seating up here is gonna be very, very similar to downstairs. So I'm not going to bore you with that. I just realized why is there so many balconies in this Taco Bell? We literally have one out here, one downstairs, one on the bottom floor, and then one on the second floor. Why is there so many? <laughs> like, I don't think it was necessary to add that many, but you do you, boo. Yo, I swear half of my videos is just me arguing with myself. Well, we can't forget a rail on the second floor. Okay, I think I might add like one more chair and table here. When doing my fast food chains, I like to switch up the seating instead of just like making it the same. Because if you make it the same, it can be very boring very fast. Also for the lighting upstairs, I think I might use pendants. Because when I was researching different type of Taco Bells, some of them use pendants for the lighting and it looked really good. It looked scrumptious. Okay, now for the second balcony up here. All I'm going to do out here is just copy the outdoor tables from downstairs and just add three of them like this. Okay, now that all the seating options done, I think I might go around and add some posters. Add some promotional posters. And now that that is done, it is finally time to work on the last thing, which is the bathrooms. Now, so many of you guys were begging me to add lots of bathrooms in here. Again, I don't know why. Like, usually I'll just add one or two, but you guys were like, no, you need more. Like, what do they put in the Taco Bell food? Laxatives? And I guess each bathroom can be one block. So we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six. So six toilets. I think that is more than enough. So there you go. You got six toilets. Oh, with your toilet paper. Can you imagine if I forgot toilet paper? Now we need to give these toilets some privacy. Also, I don't know what it is about American bathrooms, but the doors have gaps in them. In Australia, we do not have gaps in our bathroom door. So we've got the toilets. Now we just need these sinks. And here's your nice long mirror so you can all stare at yourself in the mirror. All right, we've got our sinks. I think that's all you need in a bathroom, really. So with the bathroom being done, it is finally time to invite my workers and you guys onto the server. <laughs> I'm scared. Okay, so the Taco Bell is all finished and comes to a total of 128,000. And I mean, I have all my workers here ready to go. And personally, I think they are looking incredible, except for me. What, what am I wearing? Okay, let's go gang. Let's start making these tacos. This is how the outside turned out. We have our little intercom here, which is actually so cute. We've already got two people parked in the car, which is great to see. And here is the front. I'm actually gonna lock the doors until I'm ready for them to be opened. Okay, we've got two people already cooking some tacos. Okay, so I'd say we have a lot of seating options ready. It's all clean so far. This is my personal favorite decal. And then we have the second floor up here. And then of course we have a bunch of bathrooms already. This place is very snazzy if I do say so myself. Oh, thank you. All right, I can see we've got a bunch of tacos already. All right, and you know what? Considering we have someone at the front desk, I guess I can be a little mascot at the front because I don't think we have any mascots. Oh my gosh. Okay, we have a bunch of people showing up. What is that? What? Oh my gosh. What is that? Cook me, please. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, while everyone starts going inside my Taco Bell, I'm gonna be a little mascot at the front. Welcome to Taco Bell. Please line up or I will cry. So far, we don't have anyone going through the drive-thru, but I don't think anyone has their cars. Oh, okay. We've already got one person dancing on the table. Before I let- Whoa, did you just run me over with your car? Excuse- Whoa, you need to watch out, buddy. You need to stop running over my pedestrians right now. Get out of my Taco Bell. Oh, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Taco Bell. Come inside. Oh my God. No, you can't break into the kitchen. No, get out of here. You get out of my kitchen. No breaking into the kitchen. Get out of my kitchen. kitchen. Whew, okay, now that everyone is out of my kitchen, excuse me. Oh, it's miss, you can't be on the fryer. That is a safety hazard. I ain't having no lawsuits. Okay, why is there Spider-Man? There is a thing called a lion. You kind of, you kind of form it right here like this. Okay, I feel like I should help. So I'm actually gonna make some tacos. But before that, this fridge needs a good clean. So I'm gonna clean it. Right now the fridge is kind of looking a little bit grummy. Okay, making some tacos. So firstly, I gotta cut the tacos. I don't really have anywhere to cut them. I guess I can just cut them here. Cut in the tacos. Yeah. Okay, I now gotta fry these tacos. Who just stole my taco? Did you just steal the tacos out of my hand? Excuse me. Doing my job, I promise. Yeah, you better. Oh no, there's no one working at the window. Okay, I guess I can work at the window. Okay, hello. What can I get you? Taco. Well, luckily for you, we have lots of tacos. So here you go, madam. Here was your taco. Enjoy. I actually don't know who ordered that. Y'all got cheese tacos. Oh, we might have cheese tacos. Let's have a look. Oh, would you look at that? We have cheese tacos. Sprinkle a little bit of cheese on there. All right, y'all, we got one cheese taco. Who ordered it? I can tell he wants the cheese taco, considering he literally has a slice of cheese on his head. Should we see if anyone's sitting down? Let's have a look. Oh my gosh, we have two people sitting down. I don't know why everyone is staring at me right now, but I'm scared. No, no, that's the wrong way. You can't. Oh my gosh, there's going to be a car crash. No, get back here. That is the wrong way. This car is committing like 10 felonies right now. This person is sitting 
all by themselves. You know what? I'm going to give them a taco. Should we see if anyone's using the bathroom? Oh, okay. <laughs> we have a lot of people in the bathroom. Miss, you should probably shut the door for some privacy. I'm just going to shut these doors on you. <laughs> I've locked everyone in the bathroom. I wonder what's going on in the bathroom. It seems a little... Oh, <laughs> oh no. There is absolute chaos in the upstairs bathroom. <laughs> I feel like I haven't ordered someone a taco in a while, so, uh... Hi, what can I get you? Hi, can I please get a soda? Of course. Okay, what soda would you like? We have many options of sodas. Bloxy Cola, please. Oh, okay, good choice. Do we have Bloxy Colas? I don't think we do. Um, do we have Bloxy Colas here? Okay, unfortunately, we do not sell Bloxy Colas. Okay, what's going on? Oh my gosh, who is up there? There's something happening upstairs. I'm kind of concerned. Miss, are you okay? I don't even know what... What am I looking at? Is that a fish or a person? <laughs> they just go help me. Oh my gosh, they're stuck. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Please don't sue me. One of my poor customers was stuck. I feel really bad, so I'm gonna give them a free taco. Hi, please don't sue me for getting stuck. Here's a taco. We'll be speaking to your manager about this. Um, I am the manager. Thank you very much. Okay, so far I'd say our opening isn't too bad. My only question though is why on earth is Spider-Man chilling on the roof? Our poor workers though, they have been working so hard. They are literally starting to stink. I think Paris just fell asleep on the job. I think Grimish is stuck. Guys, look at him. He's been on this table for ages. Can someone pick me up? Oh, they're stuck. Is no one helping him? Give Taco Alaska feed me. Look, we ran out of tacos, okay? I don't know what to do. I need to help this guy. Where is he? You look stuck and I'm gonna help you. Here you go, little guy. Okay, now it's finally time to make some tacos. Where are my workers? Did they all leave me? I don't even know who this person is. That's not even my work on. They're just hiding in the corner, but I don't blame them. I don't think I want to open the door, guys. Do you guys think I should open the door. <laughs> they just go no. Alaska is starving us. Protest. Do not protest. Alaska, open up. I need to poo. I'm not letting a rat poo in my Taco Bell. Thanks. I really do not want to open these doors. I think I have no choice. Fine. Come in. Oh my gosh. I can't even see anything. I will get you your tacos. Just, you gotta be patient. Don't break into the kitchen. Who stole my tacos? Who stole my... Yeah, okay. Okay. Why is Coweb just here? Yeah, they're right in the kitchen. Shouldn't have opened these doors. I'm scared. Oh my gosh. I don't know what to do. All my workers have left me. I have ran out of tacos. It's stanky in here. I can just smell the stink. You know what? I'm, I'm, I give up. I give up. Actually, no, I don't give up. This is my Taco Bell and I'm not going to let some raiders infiltrate my kitchen. I, everyone listen up. No breaking into the kitchen. No stealing tacos. Alaska, I clogged your toilet. Are you kidding me? Let's have a look at the security cameras. The amount of people at the front. What is even going on out there? Wait, what's going on at the front? I don't get it. No taco harm. We're having another protest. You know what? Coeptus, please drive me away. All right, I'm in someone's limo. I just, I give up. I don't know whose house this is, but it's it's now my, oh my Lord. It is now my house. Thank you very much. You know what? I was really hoping this Taco Bell would have a nice, calm opening. That was me building Taco Bell in Bloxburg and inviting all you guys. I hope you did enjoy this video. And thank you guys so much for 500K. That is insane. And if you want to participate in a future video like this, all you have to do is be subscribed to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.